Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today I am going to be doing a kind of different style of video than I've done before. I saw Angelica Neekvist do this on her channel and I thought it was genius. Instead of doing a dedicated video to each palette, sometimes it can be overwhelming to try to keep up. So I want to do three palettes, three different looks, one with each palette in this video so that if you're interested in seeing the palette in action, hopefully this will appeal to you. And it's just a kind of quicker way to show looks with palettes. I hope that makes sense. I kind of just talked and didn't really make that much sense, but yeah. So the three palettes that I'm going to be playing with are the Batty Bean and Shroud Hello Bean palette. That is actually what I have on my eyes today. And then the Teresa, <laughs> the Teresa is Lethal palette with Lethal Cosmetics and Teresa is Dead. That'll be the second palette. And then this one is not brand new, but it has sold out several times and it is restocking on October 14th, which is hopefully the day that this video goes live. So I thought I would show like, if you are interested in picking up the restock, if you've never even heard of this palette before, this palette, I have not used it at this moment that I'm filming this intro is supposed to be unbelievable. So this is the Cosmic Brushes Serenity palette. So yeah, if you are interested in seeing any of these palettes in action, stick around. I will put timestamps down in the description box or if you just hover over the, the thing that goes like this when you watch a video. What is that called? The time ticker? That will tell you when I do each palette. If you're only interested in certain palettes or if you wanna watch them all, just stick around for the whole video. I will leave any information down in the description box about these palettes, like launch dates, restocks, pricing, all of that stuff in the description box. Everything else that I have on my face in the description box. Everything you need to know is in the description box. If you do enjoy this type of video, please give me a thumbs up. That helps me out and lets me know that you enjoy this style of video. And leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on any of the palettes. And I would love for you to subscribe if you're not already before you leave, if you enjoy makeup content. Okay, so let's start off with the first look, which will be the Batty Bean and Shroud Hello Bean palette. I absolutely love the look of this palette. If you've been here before, you know I'm here for a spooky moment. And this is about as spooky as Halloween-y as we can get. So let me tell you a little bit about the palette before we get started on the look. So this is from Shroud Cosmetics, which is an indie brand. They are out of California. This palette was Betty Jean's vision for a Halloween but make it grunge type of palette. It has five buttery mattes, three magical multi-chromes, and one delicious duo chrome. We carefully curated this palette to pair perfectly with our first collab with Batty Bean, it's freaking bats. So you can mix and match to your heart's content. So this is vegan and cruelty free as well. It does retail for $42. She does also have like a pin set that you can get on its own or as a bundle. But as of right now, this has sold out like within the first hour of launch. They are going to be restocking this on October 15th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll put all that information down in the description box, but I hope that if you are interested in the restock that this could like help you out a little bit, maybe. But let's create a look. I'm very excited. I have not even swatched these as I'm filming this right now and I don't know what to do. Let's start off with the shade Crypt as my transition. I love that like mustardy baby puke color. Super grungy. I love a warm moment. I feel like there's so many cool looks I can create with this, with the greens, with that deep, it looks like a navy. Is that navy or is it black? It looks like a navy. And then all of these like orangey colors. There's so many possibilities. So I think I'm gonna go into the shade Losers Club down here, the orange color, which if you know me, that's pretty predictable. I love orange. Very pretty. Do you have the first collab that they did together? It's freaking Bats. If you do, let me know your thoughts on it. I do have it. I definitely bought it way later than it launched. Like 
it's pretty new to my collection. I did buy it this year and I've only really used it once. To be honest, I just have so much makeup that I'm trying to get through, but I loved the look that I did with it. I loved it. It was incredibly easy to use. These mattes are incredibly easy to use even right now. So that's great. I love me an orange look, so I'm loving it. I think this is a black. I can't tell if it's black or blue. Whatever it is, I'm gonna use it. Just on the outer corner of my eye and keeping it pretty low. I'm gonna take the NYX Glitter Primer. I'm just gonna pop this on my lid. I'm gonna take the shade Afterlife just on my finger and just put this all over the lid. Ooh, it feels like velvety smooth. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's definitely a, a multi-chrome or a duo-chrome. It shifts when I'm turning my head. I don't know if you can see it. Very cool. So Afterlife is a metallic multi-chrome that shifts from a burnt orange to copper to gold. Yes, I can definitely see that. That's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna go put on liner, lashes, the rest of my face. We're gonna come back to finish up the lower lash line. Okay, I am back with my makeup done. I'm just gonna quickly tell you what I have on my face so future Rachel can link it for you. I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Matte in the shade Bronze Beige. I've mixed Tarte Shape Tape and Shape Tape Ultra Creamy. Shades will be linked down below. One size translucent setting powder. The Juvia's Placed Bronzed Duo in the shade Medium, a absolutely beautiful powder bronzer. For blush, I am going with the orange theme. I have the Beauty Bakery Snackaroons Blush in the shade Hey Pumpkin. For my highlighter, I have Unearthly Cosmetics Incandescence Highlighter in the shade Basque. For my lip combo, I have KKW Beauty 90s style lip liner, which you can no longer get. Lined my lips and drew my lips in with that pencil. And I have the Lizzie McGuire So Juicy Lip Gloss from ColourPop in the shade Lizzie. Uh, and on my eyes, I have the Unearthly Cosmetics Lashes in the style Boundless. I love the Unearthly Cosmetics Lashes, some of my favorites, honestly. So, so far I love this look. I feel like a cute pumpkin so far. Don't look at this eye though, because I messed up the lash application, but this eye looks cute. Okay, let's continue on. I'm gonna take this tiny, tiny little brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Wicked, which looks like a very deep, dark green. I'm gonna push this up against my lower lash line. I'm gonna take a really small little blending brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Crypt, that mustardy color, and just smoke out that Wicked shade. Take this tiny little angled brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Woodsboro. I'm gonna put this in the inner part of my lower lash line and I am gonna spray it just so that it sticks. Super pretty, love that. I'm gonna take Ghoulish and put this in my inner corner. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. It's got green and gold, wow. Ooh, stunning. In my waterline, I'm gonna use the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in the shade Orange Zest to bring out those orangey tones. Okay, and this is the final look using the Hello Bean palette. What do you think? I think it's absolutely stunning. These orange tones just, I vibe with them so much. I think they both did a great job with this palette. I used Almost every shade, I didn't use it's Showtime or Black Flame, but I used every other shade and they all performed really beautifully. The mattes were extremely blendable, pigmented, easy to use. The shimmers are gorgeous and dimensional. What is on my eyebrow? And it's very on theme. It's a really unique color story, which is hard to do nowadays. 
and I just love Betty Jean, so I really wanted to support her and her collaboration. I think if you are interested in it, you wouldn't be disappointed in the quality because the quality is great. So yeah, I'm really excited I was able to share this look with you. I'm gonna continue to use it and I will put it in a palette ranking that I do periodically after I test palettes for several times so I can get my really good thoughts on them. But so far, first impressions, this was a wonderful palette to use. And I'm hoping to get this video up in time right before or the day of the restock, just so that if you were interested, you could just get another inspiration for a look. So yes, that's all I have to say about that. We're gonna get on to the next palette, which I believe is the Lethal Cosmetics and Teresa is Dead palette, Teresa is Lethal. So stick around if you wanna see that. Okay, now we are on to the Lethal Cosmetics and Teresa is Dead, Teresa is Lethal. That is a mouthful to say. I have already used this palette once on my Instagram, but I wanted to create a look here on YouTube in case you were interested. So let me tell you a little bit about the palette. Teresa is Lethal, inspired by sci-fi B-movies. This palette created in collaboration with Teresa is Dead is sure to appease our alien overlords. There are nine shades, six mattes, and three metallics, made in Germany, and it is vegan and cruelty free. Let's get this palette on my eyes. I'm very excited. The first look I created, I used like the pinks and the purples. So today I wanna use this blue green row down here. Uh, I did use the silver as my inner corner highlight and it is the sparkliest, shiniest silver I've ever used. I know Teresa loves a good silver shadow, so I'm not really surprised that it's in the palette. I've already primed my eyes with the Rare Beauty Eye Primer. I'm gonna go in with the shade Venus Envy. <laughs> Venus Envy. And I'm gonna use this in my transition area. Gorgeously alien-like. I'm gonna go in with the shade Space Duster up here, just a little bit lower in the crease. Pretty effortless to use, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm gonna go into the shade Specimen 3 and place this on my outer corner. Very nice. I'm gonna take the NYX Glitter Primer, I'm gonna place this all over my lid. I'm gonna go into the shade Space Trash Looks like an absolutely gorgeous, like blue with like pink reflect in there, pinky purple. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. Wow, that is so pretty. I'm not a blue gal, but this may convert me. She did that. I'm actually going to take the shade Plutonian on an angled brush. Now I'm just going to line my upper lash line with this color as an eyeliner. Not gonna wing it out or anything, just, just line it. Okay, you know how this works. I'm gonna go off camera, finish my makeup. I will come back, we will finish the lower lash line. Okay, I am truly living my like early 2000s Y2K fantasy with this eyeshadow like the blue frostiness. Although this is like amped up because it's got that pink reflect. Oh my goodness, do not pay attention to my lashes. The lash application was not good today. This is really fun. Okay, let me quickly go over what else I'm wearing on my face. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Foundation in the shade Bronze Beige. It's the only foundation I use really. The One Size Translucent Setting Powder. The Juvia's Place Bronzer Duo in the shade Medium. The Natasha Denona My Dream Cheek Trio, both the blush and the powder highlight. I am wearing on my lips ColourPop BFF Lippy Pencil with the NYX Filler Instinct Lip Color in the shade Beach Casual. Let's finish up the eyes. Oh, and I have the Ardell Wispies on my eyes as my lashes. I really wanna keep it like bright and pastel on my lower lash line. So I think I'm gonna take like a fluffy brush. I'm gonna go into that shade Venus Envy, the green, and just kind of fluff it on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take a flat definer brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Specimen 3 
I'm just gonna push this up against my lower lash line. I'm gonna take the Blend Bunny Blends palette. I know this is cheating, but I don't care. I'm going to mix the white shade as well as the pastel blue and pop this in my inner corner. I'm gonna go in with Prance from ColourPop in my waterline. Okay, and this is the final look. What do you think? I think it's really fun. Like I said, I'm not a blue person, but this blue shimmer on the lid, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this palette. The packaging, by the way, is so adorable. It feels really nice, high quality. I love all of the like space type sci-fi scenery on here. It's very, very, very well done and the color story is fun. This is my second time using it. I am going to continue to use it and put it in a palette ranking in the future, but this was fun. All right, let's hop on over to the next look with the next palette. All right, and now our third palette that we are going to use is a look from the Serenity palette from the brand Cosmic Brushes. This is a UK-based indie brand, and this palette came out quite a while ago, and I bought it, I think, on the first restock. They have restocked it several times now, and kind of my point of adding this palette into this video is that hopefully the day that I post this video, which would be October 14th, they are doing another restock. So if you were on the fence or thinking about it, or maybe you've never even heard of it before, I wanted to show a look with the palette. I have not even swatched it. I have not used it, nothing. So this is gonna be my first impression thoughts. I'm super excited. This is quite an affordable palette. It does retail for 20 pounds, which, after like international shipping to get to me, I paid 30 pounds and 50 cents, which ends up being like 38, $40 or something like that, which I think is really reasonable for this amount of shades. And again, it's supposed to be really, really good. So I'm very, very excited to test this out. This brand is vegan and cruelty free. And there are some pigments in here that are quote, not safe for the eye area because they are pressed pigments, just so you know. They don't bother me though, like I don't have sensitive eyes. I don't usually get irritation from pressed pigments, but this palette looks like a gorgeous, I would say more like spring summer palette, but I'm so excited to use it anyway. I always say I'm not a blue girl, but there's a lot of blues in here, <laughs> but there's some greens. There's a little bit of everything. I don't even know what I wanna do. I feel like I could do a five looks video with this palette, but anyway, so. I did just do like a green blue look with the Teresa is Dead palette. So maybe I'll do something more like on the like purpley side. I'll do a purpley look. From what I've heard, this palette is supposed to be unbelievable quality. So I do have really high expectations for this palette. That may be a bad thing. So I'm gonna go into the shade Make-A-Wish right here. It's like this gorgeous lilac purple. I'm gonna pick it up on a fluffy brush. I've already primed my eyes, by the way, with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm gonna start by kind of pressing it in. It has a nice big mirror in it, which is nice. Well, that was a nice pastel lilac. It shows up pretty nicely on my eyes. I'm gonna go into the shade Pixie, this like slightly deeper purple. And I'm gonna place that in my outer corner as well as into the crease. Ooh, stunning. Ooh, pretty. That looks stunning. That purple color is so vibrant. It wasn't patchy at all. It wasn't hard to blend out. It's just gorgeous. All right, I'm going to take the NYX Glitter Primer, as per usual, and put it all over my lid. Okay, I'm very excited to dip into the shimmer. I've not even swatched these, like I've said, but I can just tell they're gonna look so pretty. <laughs> so this is the shade Ether right here. I'm gonna go into that with my finger. Ooh, that's like mermaidy. Oh, that is stunning. And 
And I would describe this more of like a smooth, more thin metallic. It doesn't feel thick and textured. It's just more of that, like I said, smooth and thin metallic. Like I said, I feel very mermaidy. Or like the shade is called Pixie. I feel like a pixie. I'm keeping it pretty simple for the upper lash line. I'm not doing anything too, too crazy. I think for the lower lash line, I wanna take the shade Awake right here, this more like periwinkle blue purple. And I wanna run that along my lower lash line. I'm more just pressing it because it is a pastel. I wanna get the most pigment out of it that I can. And then in the inner corner, I have to use this shade Opal. This is calling my name. I'm just gonna take a flat brush, dip into Opal. And this one looks like it's shifty as well. I don't know if it's a multi-chrome or a duo-chrome. Ooh, oh, <gasps> whoa, do you see that? It looks like a legit Opal. <laughs> Maybe that's why they named it Opal. Wow, that is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Yes. Um, I wanna use a thousand more shades. I am definitely so excited to continue to use this. Uh, do you wanna see more looks with this? Do you want me to do like a two or three look video with this? Are you interested? Let me know. Okay, and this is the final look on my face. The rest of my makeup, I'll quickly go through. I decided to switch it up and use the It Cosmetics CC Cream instead of the Wet n Wild foundation. I have this in the shade Medium. I am still using the one size translucent powder. For bronzer, I'm wearing the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer Stick in the shade Baked. For my blush and my highlight, I'm using the new Patrick Ta Blush Palette. I mixed both the powder blushes together and used the powder highlight as my highlight. For my lip combo, I am wearing the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF and the Wet n Wild Mega Last High Shine Brilliance Lipstick in the shade Clothes Off, this like pretty pinky nude. For lashes, I am wearing the Kiss Trio Lash like the individuals that are banded together as threes for more of like a natural wispy look. I was just feeling very fairy, very mermaidy, just living my like fantasy life. And in my waterline, I put in ColourPop's Prance. So what do you think about this look? I think it looks absolutely stunning. I, I love it. I'm here for it. All of the shades that I used in this palette were really, really easy to use. Now, of course, there are a million more shades to use and I will get to using them at some point. But I hope you enjoyed this style of video. I was super excited to be able to play with these three palettes and just play and have fun, create a look with each of them. And I feel like it's just a good way to showcase each of these palettes in one video versus giving them their own video. But if you are interested in getting more looks with any of these palettes, please let me know in the comments. That helps me out a lot when you let me know what it is you want to see. But yeah, I love these palettes. I hope they gave you some inspiration or helped you decide if you were interested in buying them or not, or you're just here to watch. That's cool too. You guys know I love eyeshadow palettes. So any excuse for me to play with eyeshadow palettes, I'm here for it. I will link all of these palettes down in the description box below. And I wanna thank you so much for watching today. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe before you leave. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.